done the short wrap. I have a size 2. You could use a size 3, but you have quite long tails. So this is best done with a size 2 wrap. This carry is a single layer carry and a single shoulder carry. Generally, you would wear your baby in this carry on your hip, but you can scoot them around to your back if you'd like once they're in the carry. And if you have a newborn, you would want to wear them on your front in what's called tummy to tummy. Okay, so first take your wrap, and I'm going to wear my baby on this side, so I'm going to have the wrap on this shoulder. Toss it over your shoulder, dramatically, and what you want to do is spread the wrap nice and flat across your shoulder, making sure that there's no twists and it falls directly behind you. You want this tail to come to about your hip. You wouldn't want it down to your knee because you, you need a bit more length on this side. So around your hip is a good spot for it. So have it there, and then reach behind you and spread out the wrap and make sure that it's not twisted. Okay, so it's nice and flat. Take the top rail. This is the top rail for this carry, okay? And pull it quite tight across your back. So no sagging and no um, twists. And pull it up to your shoulder. And then spread the back evenly across your back. Bring the bottom rail. Just make sure everything's nice, evenly pulled pretty tight across your body. Then you're going to hold it at your shoulder. You don't, you might think that you need a lot of room for your baby. Some people tie it like this, but babies generally take up less room than you think they will. And it's easier to loosen it a little bit than to try and tighten it a lot once the baby's in there. So have it pretty tight. Hold it at your shoulder. And now we're going to tie a slip knot. Okay, so tying a slip knot. You've got this at your shoulder. Grab the piece that's coming over your shoulder and just hold it in place. All the knot tying is done with this piece of fabric. So hold this over your shoulder. This is going to go behind and up. And then it just flops right down. Okay, so over top. Next it goes behind again, underneath this part. And we're going to take it through this hole. So over top, through the hole. And you can tighten it a little bit, but we'll save the tightening for when the carry's all finished. So as you can see, this piece that comes over your shoulder doesn't do anything, and it's totally straight down. There you go, slip knot. So now you've got your knot tied, now you're going to put your baby in. Fine. Before you put your baby in, make sure that the knot is sitting almost on your shoulder because usually once the baby goes in, it gets pulled down a little bit. So you start it out a little higher than you might. <laughs> a little higher than you might think you want it. Then you get your baby. I do. I stick them kind of over the shoulder where the knot is and put his feet in. One, two, <laughs> and then put them up over this shoulder, reach under, and pull the wrap up over his body. Before you sink them down, take this bottom part and tuck it under his bum. Ta-da! Take that. Then you want to pull this up. Check his arms in. Okay? You want to make sure that the fabric goes from his knee to his knee and that it's tucked underneath so there's fabric in between my body and his body. So you can see the knot needs some, or this placement needs some help. <laughs> what you'll do, gotta lift up his bum and spread.
thread this fabric across your shoulder. Check the back. But as I wear him, it'll kind of loosen up a bit. Um, now you can fix any part that's a little bit loose. So if this was too loose, what you do is you hold the piece of fabric that's coming over your shoulder. Put your hand here and push the slip knot up. You can also tighten the slip knot if it was too loose. Make sure the fabric is away from your neck and spread evenly across your shoulder or else it will just be <laughs> pressing into your neck and that would be uncomfortable. So that actually looks pretty good. We're good to go. I'll just show you a couple of variations. So if you had a newborn, you would you'd put them in closer to the knot so that they're more on your tummy. And sometimes when I'm wearing him here and I need to do something and him on my way, you can kind of just scoot him to your back. So you reach and you just kind of lift him up. And then you just pull this. And then you can actually scoot him back too. And there you go. This is a great carry. It's poppable, which means that I can take him out without untying it. and put them back in if you need to later. So there's a rebozo. Thank you.